Hi, I'm North Star member Karen Green, and today I'm talking to our employment coordinator, Erin Letterman. Hi, Erin. Hello. What does an employment coordinator do? We have a unit of members that volunteer in the employment department, and we assist other members here with finding jobs. So we basically come in and do what needs to be done in terms of meeting specific needs of the different members. So if a member needs resume help, which is the most typical, we would sit down and help them write or format a resume on the computer. A lot of times people need help with job searching. So we will be on the computer helping them search for jobs that they can apply to. Oftentimes there's cover letters that need to be written or edited, all sorts of different things. Just making it more accessible. Looking for employment is not easy and it's dreary, it's drudgery. And just having some support through that process can make all the difference. We have something called transitional employment here at the clubhouse. Can you explain what that is? Yeah, transitional employment is a type of employment where the organization, in this case, North Star Clubhouse, goes out and makes relationships with employers in the community. And through those relationships, we carve out specific jobs that that employer offers. Transitional employment is specifically part-time and entry-level. It's a job that I could put anybody into, train them up in a few days, and they would be able to do that job. Some examples would be had dishwashing jobs in the past, cleaning jobs. We've also had light clerical work or office work. Could be mailing, mailroom. It could be any number of different types of jobs. It just it's just very entry level, so people can just get their feet wet into the uh, workforce again and really kind of experiment. So the job is temporary as well. It's a job that North Star has essentially and take different members that they're at a point in their recovery that they're ready to actually get back into work in the community, but they're just not sure. Maybe they're not sure of what direction they want to go, or they're just not sure that they can do the schedule and maintain it. And it allows for them to get into a position and really just try it out. And they get paid and they have to maintain their hours and they have the support of the clubhouse and the relationship between the clubhouse and the employer really supports them through that process. The job lasts for about six to nine months. And then when that time is done, that person leaves the job, the job still remains for for the next member to be placed into it. So members can go into any number of different transitional employment jobs, ideally, trying out different things. And if they end up really liking a company and they can get promoted into a different position in the company that would be permanent, that would be great. Or maybe they just move on and feel confident enough to get their own independent job after that transitional employment uh, period is over. And transitional employers, they are aware that the employee is mentally ill? Yes. Yeah. The relationship developed with the employer. The employer is, is fully aware of what North Star is, what North Star does. And so they're on board with that. They're okay. We look for really open-minded employers, um, forgiving employers, and employers that are willing to work with the person and with North Star to really help the, the employee along. What's the benefit to an employer? So the employer would has actually a number of benefits. There's a working tax credit that's available to employers that hire people with disabilities. There is the fact that if the employee isn't able to make it one or any number of days, the job will still get done. Either myself or another trained member will go out and fill in for somebody if they are sick. The employer never has to hire for that position again because it's a continuous thing that the employment unit is filling. So the employer never has to spend money on advertising or trying to find somebody or train somebody even because that would be my job. Every time there's a new person in there, I would go in and train alongside them until the employer is satisfied with their work. The employer actually doesn't have a whole lot of risk involved in that because there's always somebody else that we can put in that position. So everybody wins. Everybody wins. Exactly. What kind of background do you have? I have a background in education, and there was a lot of transferable skills from being a teacher and organizing and planning and and that kind of thing that I've been able to bring to the position. I also have worked in a residential facility in Wales, working with people with disabilities, mental health, as well as adult learning disabilities. So I have a little bit of experience in some different areas, but really, I think I got the feeling when I got hired that I got hired because I'm pretty 
enthusiastic <laughs> so that I can really support people through things and cheer them on and, and really see the best in people, which is one of my favorite things. <laughs> you know, that's something that I feel quite confident in is, is seeing the best in people and really enjoying their specific skills and and idiosyncrasies. So how did you get into working with people with disabilities? Training to be a school teacher, you you learn a lot about different types of learning styles and I probably became interested developmentally in that way. But it wasn't until I was working with people with mental health challenges in Wales that I really started getting interested in, in that. What else does the North Star Employment Unit work on? A lot of different things. So we're part of the Employment and Operations Unit. So there's a lot of outreach involved. There's stuff like or- orientation, different types of clerical tasks, just trying to organize the departments in general. We work on grant writing because I'm also the grant writer here. And so I involve a lot of a lot of my employment and operations people to, to help me in that as well. We have a budding housing team and we have a budding IT team that has started meeting. I have to coordinate peer support. So with peer support specialist training, coordinating with the agencies that offer that training and getting people signed up for that. And then also helping our specialists here find work and education as well. Trying to connect people with the different educational institutions around and get them into school if that's what they want. So personal development. Yes, exactly. Now, North Star is structured around what we call the work order day. And work of the day is available to members. Uh, What kind of work of the day does the employment unit have? That could vary a lot. There's some really common ones, basically assisting people on the computers in their job search, formatting resumes or helping people type resumes or write them. We have what's called a hot jobs board, and that is updated weekly at least, where people do generalized job searches. When they find jobs that could be good for a number of people, then they would print those out and put them on the hot jobs board available to anybody who wants to pull them down, see if they're, they're good for them and apply. Now, North Star has some members who are actually employment specialists. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We actually have a few really talented and experienced, extremely experienced people that have worked in employment for a number of years. And so count on them a lot, actually. So you all work together. Yes. Work alongside each other. Is there anything in particular that drives your interest in working with people who are mentally ill and who are generally stigmatized by society? I have my own personal experiences and family experiences with mental illness. So I try and keep a very open mind with people's experiences in life. I think like a lot of people, I find a lot of interest in how others think and how they relate to the world. So everybody in my family is very eccentric. I really enjoy that a lot. I just, people are fun and they're interesting and I would much rather be interested than than everything just go along perfect. It's I'd much rather have an interesting life and be surrounded by interesting people. I suppose it probably goes goes mostly back to my own personal experiences. And also there's that part of me that the social justice warrior, like that the idea that you can just break people off and put them in little groups as, as in these people have mental health challenges and these people are normal. This doesn't make any sense at all. It, it's just such a falsehood and it really bothers me that, that stigmatization. It's just false. It's and it holds people back and it makes the world really mediocre. And I think really recognizing the the fantastic abilities and and thoughts and ideas from every group in society just makes society better. It's like a fabric. You know, you need you need all those different threads to make a, a nice strong fabric if you just have a few, then it's boring and ugly. You need all the colors to make it pretty. What attracted you to this position in the first place? It's really important to me that I have something that I'm doing that's meaningful. I've worked in enough jobs that are meaningful and enough jobs that aren't to know that if when I go home at the end of the day, if I don't feel like I've put good into the world in any way, I feel like I'm just kind of wading through life. Once I moved back from the UK and moved here into Portland, I was really looking for a position that would be personally fulfilling. And I saw this ad on Craigslist and thought, I can do this. This is something I can do. I'm really good at helping people see their strengths. What do you find most rewarding about this job? 
there's two parts. One is helping people adjust, you know, you know what you're helping somebody and just feels really good. And, you know, you, you get the thank yous and the kudos, but you just, you know, that something that you've helped support them in has now put them on a, in a positive direction. And that's awesome. There's also the learning part on my end. So I get to do a whole lot of learning and personal growth on my end. I get so many interesting perspectives on things here, so many different kinds of ideas, and also a lot of challenges. I, I have a lot of challenges in being able to be more open and, and learn how to deal with different personalities and different thoughts and and treat people with respect no matter what is coming at me. That's really fulfilling. It's difficult, but you know everything that's worth doing is, so. <laughs> So what gets you out of bed in the morning? A few things. I usually am aware of who I have appointments with or what meetings are happening that day that I'm excited about. There's also working on grants. That's I'm kind of a nerd about that. It's really fun if I know that I have some really good writing to do and it's going to be a challenge. But yeah, I, I, I think generally the idea of coming here and working with a group of people on something that's really important, whether it is grant writing or whether it is housing or how to fix the computers around North Star or how to engage people better in the navigators, anything like that. It's it's doing important work with people and knowing that we're making it better for others. If North Star members want to get involved with the employment unit, what's the best way to do that? I would recommend that they come and join one of our employment on operations unit meetings. Those are every Wednesday at 11. And that's where we discuss what we're working on, where our focuses are. And as those members that are interested learn what's happening at North Star and how they can participate, coming to those meetings will really help get them involved. They'll find teams and people to work alongside, kind of get the ins and outs and also participate with their own ideas. Any last words? Thank you, Karen. (laughs) You're welcome, Erin. Thank you. If you like this video and want to support North Star, please go to northstarclubhouse.org and click Donate.